Good afternoon. We're back with some Talk About It Tuesdays. I hope everybody had or is, uh, hope everybody is having a lovely day back again after a week off. I appreciate people asking where I was. I was here just laying low. So anyway, um, in the interim, I've had some questions. Um, the first one was from a friend who said um, that her daughter needs help with her granddaughter's room and what would I recommend? And I would, I would recommend that I stay out of that dynamic. Um, but universally, <laughs> there are some good ideas out there for uh, kids to visually, the, the, so that the visuals grow with the children. You know, when you get something like um, a campaign chest or, you know, a more grown up kid bed, that sort of thing, you know, just things that the kids can grow into. Wallpaper doesn't have to be, you know, all, all bunnies and fairies. It can be beautiful polka dots and stripes, you know, still something that's, that feels young and airy, but it doesn't, you know, have to be cutesy wootsy. Um, again, you know, dressers and chests that are a little bit older are great. There's a company called, um, uh, la, 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 animal print shop and it's all baby animals and they're so adorable but they're really pieces that you know the kids can have for a long time and I'll um, I'm gonna post I'll post that website later so you know there's a lot of really good images out there about you know it'll say sophisticated child room but you know there there's a lot of options out there for that um, so the next question I had was for some ideas to elevate your backyard space. Now, you know, depending on how much room you have, you can kind of grow crazy. If you're talking about maybe it's just the porch, um, you can get really beautiful outdoor rugs to put on the porches now. Um, Painting the ceiling of your porch is always a really nice, fun idea. It's a very southern thing. There's a particular color blue that southerners put on the, the ceiling of their porches all the time. It's lovely. Um, adding enough lighting out there to make it, you know, comfortable as the sun goes down. Uh, putting curtains around it. If it's something in the back, I think curtains would look a little weird on your front porch. So those are some ideas for a porch area. Uh, in terms of the backyard, there's so much stuff that you can do. You can create smaller areas using pavers. Um, even if you just you do, you know, some mulch area with some chairs on top of it, that sort of thing. Uh, if you're going to hire a landscaper, you could do a sunken patio, which is really pretty cool. And that's very, very much a defined area. You know, this sort of circle in the middle, you know, just... A little bit outside your home, uh, you know, with the uh, round walls and all that kind of thing. I mean, I think that's a great idea. Um, you can put up a pergola and a dining table, you know, go all Italian on it. Uh, again, curtains can go up for privacy. One really good idea is if you're doing anything to the backyard and you're going to be using an electrician, get electrical wiring as far out in as many places as you can in the backyard because then just like um, if you're redoing a, a room or building something new it's always a great idea to have electrical outlets in the floor and that way you don't have you know cords running all over the place same kind of idea for outside if you've got electric wiring all over the place then you can you know have some poles with some lights on it you can you know if you do one of the the home theater things you can get your equipment closer to um, the screen and all that sort of thing uh, you know you might have some kind of I don't know wine cooler or something that you need electricity for that you can put out there but it's a really nice um, nice idea to have have access to electricity throughout the backyard if you have a shed and you're not really using it, you know, 
if if it allows for it structurally, uh, you know, take off the front of it, put some benches in there with some cushions or some other chairs and a table. And again, the lights, if you've got the electricity out there and, you know, maybe some floor cushions and then you paint it and voila, you've got this whole little nice sitting area. The other, another thing to think about to make your outdoor space more useful is, um, is storage pieces. So there's a, um, I have a picture, and of course, me and the pictures here. So this is do 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 a picture of um, an IKEA cabinet, and the name is yeah, sure I'm gonna pronounce this right. Um, Kalbjorn. Anyway, it's 80 bucks. Um, it's a great color. It's meant to be outside, so it's not gonna rust. You can put in, you know, any kind of. Uh, table stuff, you know, your, 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 your plates, your napkins, et cetera, et cetera. It looks like it's big enough for, for um, pillows and tablecloths and that sort of thing. So, you know, think of your outdoor space as an actual room. And if you're in your dining room, you need storage. So that's a great little piece, I have to say. I like that one a lot. Um, also, you know, that you can have, um, uh, benches that have storage in them too those are really great ideas but so anyway you know for the backyard create actual spaces and have storage you want to treat it like it's a real room and that kind of brings me to the uh, second question or third question that i had this week was you know you know it's summertime so you're seeing rattan and cane and wicker and all of that and you know one of my friends like oh what the heck is the difference um it's all the same and and no it's not <laughs> um so wicker is actually the process think of it as you know if if you make risotto uh risotto is not a dish risotto is a method you can use all kinds of small pastas to make in the risotto method wicker is a process um and it is very typically done with uh, rattan and cane, but it's also done with willow and bamboo, um, other kinds of reeds that, you know, man-made resin and vinyl. So anyway, it is the process of actually creating the piece, the weaving of it. Uh, so then we go to rattan and rattan, rattan and cane. Um, so rattan is a very uh, vine-like wood. It's one of the strongest woods out there. Uh, it's, it's used for really, uh, if it's made out of rattan, it's actually, it's just better quality than with cane. The cane is actually from the rattan plant. It's just got the skin taken off of it. So you can get pieces of either of these, rattan, cane, you know, whatever else, any kind of wicker, made product um it really it can go really high and really low i mean you know you're going to find a little um a, a plant basket for 2.99 at target and then you could get a rattan console that has been handmade that's thousands of dollars um and worth it because if you love it it is going to last a lifetime so you know that's just the that's the difference between the two of them um also you know about either rattan or cane, uh, they're generally not very expensive. Again, if you're having something very fine handmade, then it's going to be more expensive. But um, they're also very environmentally friendly, which is a great thing. They're fairly easy to clean if you keep up with it, especially if you've got something outside, just take the hose on it and you're all good. Um, so this at this time of year, it's, you know, summer issues of everything. Um, all of the shelter magazines so you're gonna be hard-pressed not to open up one of them and find some pictures on on a uh, cane etc etc but it's, it's having a moment it's starting to find itself all over the place now and so obviously outside is an easy that that's an easy go-to in terms of um, you know how to use it if you want to bring it inside I would say one idea is to make sure that you've got some kind of rug that the rattan or the cane is going to work with. If you don't have anything that's a little bit light and airy in your room and all of a sudden you have a lamp, 
shade that's made that's rattan, it's going to look out of place. So if you have a jute rug or um, a sisal rug or something like that, that'll it'll give it something to play with. Um, so in terms of bringing it into the room itself, uh, you know, you can do it through mirrors. You can do it again through um, the lampshades. Use side tables, uh, caning in front of for doors, and it can be very, very elevated. Um, so there's a, a couple of pictures here, more pictures that I want to show you. Can you see this? So that's that is um, just the the cover of. Um, a cabinet which is great and then right next to it these are chairs that oopsie these are chairs that are in a very elevated um, dining room if you can if I get the light out of there you know really really lovely um, so you know they don't have to be very very casual they can really elevate uh, be elevated as far as what they look like um, you know, here's a fun little lampshade. I don't know where that is from, but, you know, it works. It's an airy room, as you can see. You know, there's the lighter rug. The furniture is lighter, but that lampshade is fabulous. Um, Serena and Lily is a great site and now store. Uh, there is one locally in Boston, so whenever you're comfortable going back, if there's something you want to buy, it's nice that you can go into the brick and mortar and actually see the product. So that's uh, it's a good place. They've got all kinds of, of wicker and chairs and mirrors and lampshades, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and when I said it's all over the place in shelter magazines, I mean, this is like too, too craziness. There's like a wicker thing for everybody in this one. Uh, but don't go too crazy on it. And don't forget the doggies. Look how adorable that is, huh? Oops. Oopsie. Can I do this? I can't. There we go. Look how absolutely adorable. Your little pet in a cane thing. And that's from Nina Campbell, if you want to look it up. So again, lots of ways to get the cane in there. You just really want to make sure that um, it's going to work with what's already there. And it's easy to get it in via a lampshade or a mirror or a bar cart. Haha, <laughs> I thought I was going to say that with my Boston accent, but I didn't. Um, and, uh, you know, just have fun. And also, especially if you've got a sunroom, it's just the perfect place to have the wicker. It's sort of a, you know, that balance between indoor and outdoor. So um, I'm going to post some of the sites that I mentioned. I'll put it, uh, you know, when I put this back up, I will do that. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to answer them. I hope you will come back next week and nice to see you all. Take care. Bye-bye.